Okay, this is just something super cool that I decided to take apart because it was broken and I wanted to share with you guys. So, I don't know how this works. This is just what I assume, but I can tell you from a mechanical side, just from using my eyeballs, what happens. So, you have, there's a solder joint right there and right there. And since this is copper, I'm guessing that when a vacuum is pulled inside of there, check this out, it'll pull down and it'll make it go like that. Now, if you look closely, there's a tiny spring. Let's try that. Yeah, a tiny spring right there. And there's little gears right there that turn. So as a vacuum is pulled, there might be a temperature difference like a gradient or there could be a vacuum i'm not sure um but i do know that once this is pulled that the vacuum pulls that turns the gear which turns the dial and there's a tiny little spring in there which is why over time they get fatigued and these no longer are accurate and you gotta replace them but you can always reuse the brass and, and copper you can always melt that down but just be careful if you do decide to melt stuff like this down. Um, I'm 99% sure that's a uh, um, lead-based solder. Uh, I could be wrong, but it's always best to assume toxic and you know be hopefully right, and then to assume that it's not toxic and be wrong, and that you inhaled a bunch of lead. So if you do decide to melt stuff like this, just make sure you're either doing it in a well-ventilated uh, area outside and that you have a mask. Just something cool I thought I'd share.